Watson, have you seen my knickers? I'm not your mother. I don't pack your things. Oh. But yes, I I did. They're in the back. Well, thank you. Let's see. Let's uh, get, get our stuff and hurry on to dinner. Don't want to be late. I always take my revolver for dinner. There we go. My magnifying glass, plus four to attack damage. Got my discreet pantaloons. Hmm. Don't forget your katana. Yes. I'm glad that you also packed a katana. We are both fans of the Orient. Let me uh, read these objectives to you, Watson. Ah, uh, we are in... Oh, what? As you know, we have a reason to believe that Vincent... Viva Let me take this blasted pipe out of my mouth. There we go. As you know, we have reason to believe that Vincent Vevel, the host of this private cruise ship party, is involved with distributing weapons illegally across the globe. He's invited a few of his fr close friends to join him in celebration. One of his new business ventures, you're posing as Pierre Rare, business partner of Vevel, and starting this bub bu uh, this, this is terribly boring, but let's, let's just go. Let's, there's a mystery afoot, Watson. Let's go. Look at that. I didn't listen to a single thing you just said. Good, I'm glad. Watson, is your... your beard growing out. It seems to be a bit fuller than before. Also, your magnifying glass is the size of a tennis racket. It's a novelty size magnifying glass. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. Well, uh, we should probably get going here. I'm going to put on my invisible pantaloons and uh, let's go. I'll head out to dinner. Hmm. I think everyone's at the bar right now. Uh, we should use the elevator to get up there. I don't know why I'm thinking this, but uh, it's just how I feel. Ah, Zed Zalias. That sounds like an alias. <laughs> Nothing. Do you mind if we rummage through a few rooms, Watson? I'd quite Not like at all. it. That sounds like a great idea. Alright, uh, let me inspect this one. Riley Vavale. Hmm, Vavale. Ooh, Ooh ex inquisitive. <laughs> Exquisitive. <laughs> Exquisitive, Watson. <laughs> mind your P's and Q's. You can take two. I will, I will be fine with I'm. I'm a bit peckish, but I'm not hungry enough to eat two apples. Let's just go. There's the elevator I've deduced. And what's down here? Richie Rich! <laughs> Didn't we know we had someone so famous on board? I quite enjoyed his comics as a kid. Richie Rich's Rolodex watch. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. I'm going to uh, pack it over here next to my meat and my bullets. There we go. I think we are thoroughly prepared for this dinner party. Simon Brindley. Hmm. I think I might have summered with him before. Anyways, Watson. What's this last one? Cole Denier. Hmm, maybe he's got some money. Doesn't seem to be. Let's go. All this clicking is driving me mad, Watson. I need a mystery to occupy my brain. Let's head to the elevator. If this is it. Hmm. Do you mind pushing the button terribly so? Thank you. Oh, feels like we just dropped a few floors. <laughs> uh, please insert your ticket. I've got it right here. Barroom access card. I think I'm gonna be sick. Is, is he dead? What does it look like you did? We need to remain calm. Ugh, I need a drink. It was one of you, wasn't it? One of you killed my brother. Don't be ridiculous. There's the beer around but here. It was you, wasn't it? Down on your luck? Need a bit of cash, huh? huh? We should not be throwing unfounded accusations at each other. Hmm. This is a uh, terribly inquisitive, Watson. So many people talking. I was not expecting this. Which way do we go, my, my friend? Hmm, everyone, please don't panic. Oh, the bartender. Hmm, let's go down here. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> These people seem to be a little malnourished. And also, there's blood on the floor. <laughs> oh, that's never a good thing. Apparently, help is on the way, says the bartender. So, look at this man's head. <laughs> He's a little uh, perturbed right now. Everyone seems a bit... Oh, what the heck? What? Everyone's ushered out of a room. Ah, oh, we didn't even get to investigate, Watson. What a pity. Looks like the mission's a failure, but perhaps we can get some information from the other guests. Let's double check our chest just to make sure we took everything out of it. Oh, Alright. Ooh. Throughout this map, you may find unique items that belong to others. Okay, let's just steal all of their things. That sounds like a great idea. Oh, this is, uh, Zedzalius? What? Hello. I am Zedzalius. <laughs> I am one of Vincent's, uh, business associates. I'm afraid you will need to excuse me. I have some very important phone calls to make. Hmm. Okay, no matter. Uh, good to meet you, my friend. Oh, are you going to say anything else? Uh, okay, seems to be it. By the way, no. Hmm. <clears throat> ah, okay. He's. I think he's going to talk again. By the way, no. I do not know why everyone else's head is so big. I think they have a cold or something. Okay. Thank you, sir. Oh, did you read the note, Watson? Or did you 
Leave it. I just left it. All right, I'll read it then. He is dead. I will proceed. <laughs> Very uh, simple deduction there. Let's move on to Riley Vervale. This mystery is heating up. What's it? Look at their heads. So peculiar. Hey, you shouldn't just waltz into people's rooms like that, Pally. <laughs> Do you even know who I am, huh? I'm Riley Vival, Vincent's brother, you idiot. If you don't mind, I'd rather be left alone. So get out of here. <laughs> Quite a wise guy, as I've heard. From maybe the uh, American Isles. Uh, nothing in here. Hmm. What are, you, what are you doing with that katana? Are you trying to threaten him? I'm just practicing. <laughs> Alright. Make sure you're quick with your revolver, uh, Watson. We might get in danger here. It seems. Oh, oh. Gee, oh, oh, Jesus! Watson, what have I told you? Uh, sorry about that. Oh, I just picked up one of your bullets. Here you go. <laughs> seems like you didn't use the casing there. Alright, let's head into Richie Rich's room. Oh, I don't remember him looking quite so oriental. Oh, it's you. I suppose I should introduce myself, eh? Yes, you should. The name's Richie Rich. I'm the vice president of Vincent's business. Though Vincent's death could mean I'm the new CEO. <laughs> Excellent. Hmm. Seems like this one's got something to gain. Richie Rich's bottle of poison. Quite evident indeed, but maybe a little too on the nose, I would think, Watson. Let's move on. Hmm. So what do we got? Simon Brindley. After you, my good friend. Hello there. Oh. I don't think we've met, Jackie. <laughs> I'm Simon Brindley. We actually only met that Vincent fellow a few days ago, and suddenly Bish Bosh has invited me to this party. Cool chap. Oh well. Best not dwell on it, eh? Man, his English accent's almost as bad as ours, Watson. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in here, seems. Oh my god, Sherlock, get over here. What is it, Watson? Hyperallogenic pillows. Ah, oh, oh, my dear man, I knew that we had those as well when I booked the room. You must have deduced it by far from seeing the room in this uh, sort of condition. And, uh, you know, I always spring for the best for my friend. One bed, two friends. Cold in here. After you again. Go ahead. All right, mate. My name's Cole. Cold in here. I've known Vincent since we were kids. It's been years since I've seen him. I'm no businessman. I'm just your average geezer. Good to see his old friend. And now this has happened. Hmm. Looks like that's everyone. We need to get back to the bar and investigate the murder. He's got some money. You're going to f finger that money while I distract him, Watson? <laughs> Oh yeah, over here. I'm fingering all this money. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's a tight wad you got there, Watson. Let's head on. The only thing I've deduced from these rooms is that the art is terrible. We must head down to the scene and uh, investigate. Here we are in the elevator, and Bob's your uncle. Let's do it. Through here. Good thing our keycard still work. Oh, the bar's closed. But not for the great detective Sherlock Holmes and his man about town, Dr. Watson. Let us head in. Ooh, it's a little dark in here. Looks like they turned out the lights. I hope I don't trip over Vale's head. It's glowing, it seems. I think I saw the blood trail back there. I should head over there. <laughs> I do love my little puns, Watson. Hmm. This blood looks like it has some sort of uh, electrical properties to it. I don't know. It looks like it's uh, somewhat natural. More so than normal blood. The scum bar. You want to flip a few switches, my friend? Let's see what these do. Whoa! All right. Almost stepped on some bloody evidence over here. <laughs> let's uh, let's head back here and see what's in these chests. Ah, baby grog, baby grog. <laughs> Sorry there. Let's grab some. Might as well drink it if we need it. All right. Anything in here? Oh, some more grog. Not quite as uh as potent as the baby grog. Oh, vi uh, vice versa. Strike that. Reverse it. There we go. I'll start with the baby baby grog. So I think we're going to be heading around, uh, trailing this blood trail, it seems, Watson. Mm -hmm. Staff only. Good thing that we are above the law. Let's head through. Nothing to do but walk over the blood trail. <laughs> grog storage. Oh! Hey, this isn't Grog. Oh, the murderer stuffed the rest of his body in the box. Lovely. It doesn't look like the murderer's weapons around here. Should check the engine rooms. Do you want a bit of a... Oh, there's a balloon. This could be a bit of evidence. I'm going to hold on to it. It looks like there's a bunch of body parts. Do you want any of uh, Vincent's blood and guts and things? I think I'll pass this time. Oh, this looks like a book from the bartender called No Grog Left. 
Someone has stolen all the grog. Now I can't get drunk, damn. All right, no need to swear, my friend. Let us, let us uh, head to the engine room. Oh, it's right behind me. <laughs> Almost missed it there. Got your revolver at the ready, I hope. Whoa! What the heck? What the? Conflabbit? Where are we now? Looks like we went into the engine room. It was just a, I feel like I lost a chunk of time there. Engine room, staff cabins. I guess the engine room is where to look. We don't have an access card. Ah, we're going to have to head to the staff rooms, it looks like. Hmm. Get behind me, man. We've got to head on. Let's see. Staff cabins. We might be able to split up if you'd like. Uh, I'll head down this way. You want to check some of these earlier rooms? All right. Women's wash closet. Now this Press is... to talk to the man. Oh, maybe I should get back. <laughs> hmm. Who are you people? I saw someone else run by here earlier. What did he look like? Well, uh, he had brown hair, I believe. Hmm. hmm. Uh, quite a clever little clue. Did you see this? It dropped on the floor. It just, it's telling us deliberately what he said. He seemed like he was preparing for investigators. All right. Help us keep track of uh, our clues with, uh, you know how my memory is sometimes, Watson. Would you like to head into the women's wash closet with me? That seems like the best place to look. Fiscalia Myrna gives you permission to enter the women's toilets, right? I'm going to hop on in and just want to see what it's like on the other side. Hmm. Some very frigid mirrors. I've heard that uh, women are not to be trifled with, so maybe we should head out of here. I don't see anything. Oh, did we look in the toilets? Mustn't forget that. Could be uh, some type of... I found used... a brick. What? A brick? In the toilet? Did someone take... Oh, Watson. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Very clever, my man. Look. Oh, you did, actually. I thought you were talking about a stinking turd. <laughs> Maybe we should head in here. Let's go. Let's talk to this man. Put my lucky brick in here, would you? Oh. Hey, you. I don't know what you're doing here, but I lost my lucky brick. Could you help me find it? I know I had it when I went to the toilet, but I haven't seen it since. It seems my friend Watson has found it for you, my dear. And, uh, it's slightly covered in turds. You want to throw it in there, Watson? Nope. I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, God. <laughs> Adding that to your personal collection, I see. Where are you going? Watson. See you later, sucker. <laughs> you little... <t> <laughs> A little perfect. Maybe we should check the uh, check the uh, bloke's MC real quick before we. All I right. mean, <laughs> I meant to say WC. MC is a uh, MC restroom is my uh, nickname. Oh, what do we have here? I found bloody poop and or guts. Gross! I found some sink poop. This is quite an awful bit of poop on this murder mystery. <laughs> I've got some diarrhea poop in this one. I found an unhealthy poop. All right, let me grab that. Man, it seems like the uh, the men on this cruise ship are having a lot more digestive problems than I assumed. What's in here? Nothing in this bunk, it seems. There's a few rooms. Alright. I wonder if this is where the poorer people stay when they're riding on the cruise ship. Uh, we can always afford, you know, a better room with a higher thread count, of course. Would you like to put in the, uh, the trick there that you found? Alright, I suppose. Let's do it. I don't think it's going to go down this tinier toilet underneath. Oh, you found it! Why is it so wet? Anyway, here I have my engine room key. Uh, I'm afraid that's all I have. Alright, Watson, you got it from her. Seems yeah. a sweet doctor. Oh, it's eight gold for a single emerald, madam. We are leaving. Let us I out. am out of here. Alright, I've got my katana at the ready. It seems to look somewhat like a bone in my hand, but... Alright. Are you ready for this? Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I understand there has been an incident on board the ship. The murder weapon Please must be gather in the here. lounge as soon as possible for your own safety. Help is on the way. Thank you. This captain sounds very smooth. I don't trust the cut of his jib. Engine compartment A or B, my friend? Which one? Hmm. I think we should go with A. All right, A okay with me. Let's do it. <laughs> Probably thought about that a little. Whoa. Going down a ladder now. Didn't expect that one. <laughs> Let's see. Mechanic wrenches quarters. What's this one? I guess we should just go in order here. Mechanic walls is quarters. Uh, you want to head into the mechanic wrench quarters? The names seem a bit like uh, suitable for such a mechanic. You'd think they they wouldn't be so you know drawn into their profession from birth. Let me get hmm. my wrench. Put it here. Let's talk to him. Hey, it's just really getting through that door. I don't care who you are, what you're doing here, but I hope you help me out. There's your chuck, see, he's the chef. Yeah, I know, having some uh, disputes with this dog. So the other day I pulled a tiny itsy bitsy practice to a practically harmless prank on him and now he stole my wrench. My wrench! He's such a mother chefer. I tell you, anyway, you get my wrench, I'll let you through. Simple. He'll have hidden it in the kitchen somewhere, I'm sure. 
Alright, so we're going to need a wrench. Simple enough, it seems. Good thing we packed a, a, a whopping stack of uh, prime rib here, because I'm getting a little peckish. I might eat one of these. There we go. Wasting the bits I don't need. Mechanic Wallace has caught us. Shall we check it out, my friend? I quite like just sliding down these ladders with no... <laughs> no climbing needed. Ooh, cobwebs. Dreadful. Following you. Oh, you say you want my access card to the elevator? No, I'm not giving it to you, never. I'd sooner die. Oh, wait, no. Don't kill me, I changed my mind. Here, take it. It seems like he saw the, uh, the katana in your hand, my friend. He tried to <laughs> jump up the ladder, now he's jumping on my head. Get off it, please, get <laughs> past it. It looks like, did we get the engine card? I don't see it. He might have gotten it. I've got it. All right, good. Let's get out of here before he uh, goes a little crazy there. Oops. Hit the button. There we go. Bob's your uncle. Head through. All right. Where is he going? He is just, he's piggyback riding on you, Watson. He seems to like you very much, though. So. Where is he going? He's got a mission. I'm going watching you, my friend. Two emeralds for a leather cap. Not in my lifetime. Elevator ahead. I don't know. Well, how do you feel about this uh, mystery so far, Watson? I quite like it. I don't like it at all. You brought me here to take me on a vacation, and here we are solving another mystery. Ah, Watson, get your panties out of a twist. Have a cup of tea and maybe a biscuit, and calm down, please. Mm, I do like biscuits. I like them too, my friend. 